No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition is back. Hey everybody, this is Andy with No Film School. We're here again with Seth at the Leica booth, and here we are debuting the... It's the Leica SL, which is a, it's a full-frame photography camera primarily. It's a mirrorless camera, but it also does professional video. So it can do HD with frame rates up to 120 frames per second, or 4K up to 30 frames per second. Can you tell us anything about the codex that it uses for that recording? Sure, internally it records 8-bit uh, MOV or MP4 with H.264 compression, but you can also record externally via HDMI 10-bit 422 uncompressed. What's the price point of release? Uh, the price point on the camera is uh, in the neighborhood of $7,500, and it's available. The standard mount on it is the Leica L mount, which is a proprietary Leica mount. However, there are adapters to use PL lenses, Leica M lenses, uh, R lenses, and some other third parties. Uh, resolution? The resolution is full frame, 24 megapixels for the full sensor, and 24 megapixels, right. 24 big megapixels. <laughs> so tell me about how does it sample the sensor to get 4K and HD? So HD, it uses the entire size of the sensor. Um, it does super sample those down, so it's not using all the information. It's, it's interpreting it. Uh, for 4K, it does crop the sensor to an APS-C or Super 35 size, and it's pixel for pixel. So it, it can do 4096, uh, so like full 4K DCI or quad HD pixel for pixel, which is going to prevent a lot of the rolling shutter issues that you see with some other mirrorless cameras that are using the full sensor. Wow, that's great. Uh, anything about anti-aliasing filters in there? Um, you know, Leica has their own kind of sensor stack that they work on. Um, I, I, the shooting that we've done with it, I've been very impressed with how it's handled Moray and, and any really difficult lighting situations. Uh, I don't have any technical information on it, but uh, it's, it's a pretty strong sensor. Uh, ISO sensitivity? The ISO sensitivity is quite high. I believe it goes up to um, in the neighborhood of like 25,000 ISO. Okay, 25,600 is probably it. Yeah. Uh, base, base ISO dynamic range? Uh, the base ISO for photography or video, it goes as low as 50. Um, I like to shoot it around like 400, uh, but it, it looks pretty clean up to 800, 1600. In video, it's, um, yeah, I would say the video ISO sensitivity is a little lower than the photo sensitivity, but it's still pretty clean at 400, 800. Um, so I'm not really used to using having used Leica as a, a, a video camera. What about the sort of picture profiles and, you know, making full use of, say, that 10-bit data? Sure. So it does have a, a Leica log setting, which allows you to get an increased dynamic range, really see into those shadows and highlights, um, in which especially when you're recording externally 10-bit, uh, we have a... a video that we're showing here that was shot on this camera recording to Convergent Design's Odyssey in 4K. Uh, we did post-production at the shed in Santa Monica, which also did Ant-Man and Hateful Eight. Uh, so we did a full, full-on professional grade on base light, and the, the strength of the, the Kodak and the image was really impressive. What kind, of, what kind of media does it take? So it records internally to SD cards. Uh -huh. So that's where the, the SD card slots are. Dual slots, uh, it does um, jump from one to the other. But then externally, you have a HDMI option to go to almost anything. Convergent Design, Atomos. Uh, and your max file time recording is uh, 30 minutes. So that's uncompressed 4K 10-bit out? Correct. Add up to, what's the, what's, what's the max frame rate for the 4K? For 4096, for 4K DCI, it's 24 frames per second. But if you go quad HD, you can go up to 30. It's quite the little camera you got there. It's nice. It's really nice. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's the newest sensor from Leica, the newest full frame sensor that we've developed, and um, it's it has that kind of that characteristic like a feel um, of being really kind of balanced towards skin tones and balanced toward people, but it's just got a, a depth and strength to it that's really impressive. 
But yeah, no, that that ten bit out is actually a, a that's pretty significant. Yeah, so it, it's a pretty well kept secret as far as this camera goes. It is Leica's first kind of professional video capable camera, but it came out in October. Um, we've seen it used on a few small projects, mostly some commercial stuff. Um, but I think people will start discovering it pretty soon, and um, hope to see some more more um, more stuff shot with it. Any info on a timeline for Leica possibly going more into the film and cinema realm? You know, we kind of dipped our toes in a little bit, and um, we're exploring some options. You know, Leica as a company stayed with film for a long time, and uh, even just for photography got into digital just in the last decade or so. But, uh, you know, we're moving quickly into cinema, and we're really learning a lot as we're going through here and you know with the cinema lenses and the team we have on that side we have a lot of feedback going back and forth between the camera side and the lens side incredible yeah <laughs> thanks yeah my pleasure